Yeah, I, I have not heard the Beyonce song. I, I don't think I'm in Beyonce's target demographic. Right. Uh, wait, 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 Robert, Robert. <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm not a Beyonce fan. I, I'm sorry. Like, as a, uh, I'm not part of her target demographic. Y'all can enjoy those things. Ro Robert, I, I Robert, just, Robert, I, I think, Robert, how, yes. how, so for the last week, you, you, like, have you been in the world? Have you, I mean, have you walked past the radio? Have, no, no, I, I purposefully avoid the radio and uh, and all. I have satellite radio for that reason, so I don't have to hear the stuff on the radio. I like to hear the stuff that I like. Beyonce's not a thing that I like. I'm not a fan of Beyonce. I think she's a very well, nice wait, lady, wait, a wait, wonderful wait, wife wait, and wait, mother, wait, but on, I'm just wait, not a wait, Beyonce wait, person. Hold up, wait, hold up. Give me camera seven. Hold up. Yo ass just said you don't like Beyonce? I don't. I, look, I'm not gonna. I'm not the person to buy the Beyonce album. I'm not going to a Beyonce concert. If you dr if you're in the car with me, more than likely Beyonce will not be on the radio. That I mean, doesn't mean, I mean everybody I'm, else isn't Robert. welcome to like what they like. I just don't like it. Which part of Beyonce, the Ave Maria Beyonce, or the Partition Beyonce? or the Break My Soul, because this is an entire new genre that she's breaking into with Four on the Floor, Beyonce. Is it that you don't like excellent singers, Beyonce, or you don't like good dancers, Beyonce, or you don't like diverse lyrics? Is it the country song, Beyonce, or is it just something about her voice? Because you don't know her, and you're saying you think she's a nice lady, and you think she's a good wife and mother. I don't know how the hell you know any of that, but what I know for sure is that she's got vocals that rival anybody alive. And she is also a dancer, writer, entertainer extraordinaire. I mean, the likes of which, I mean, in terms of entertainers, and I, I use MJ with, with reluctance and high esteem, but when we're talking about Alive and Dead for Best Entertainer, so I'm just wondering, is it her particular stellar voice that bothers you? Or is it that you think all her music is the same because it is not? No, no, I don't like the sound of Beyonce's voice when she's singing. That's what I mean when I say I'm not a Beyonce fan. Like, I, if, there, if there's like a ranking of people that I want to hear singing, she's not on the ranking of list of people I want to hear singing. You know, wow. uh, you put Jill Scott at the top and the send down from there. There's a lot of people in between Jill Scott and Beyonce. So, I like I said, everybody's welcome to like what they like. I don't I don't think that there's anything <laughs> wrong with saying that you're not a Beyonce fan. Uh, so, no, she's not mad. No, you don't have to but, be a fan. Uh, I'm, I'm glad that people enjoy I, I'm it. Saying that. So, I I just wonder if you were saying she couldn't sing because then I would I would take exception just to your ear deafness. But what you're uh, saying is the tenor of her voice is bothersome to you. And and I I I can under I can understand that. I mean, sometimes y'all's voices tenor bothers the hell out of me. So yep. it's not that I don't like you or think you're not a nice person, but that you don't have smart things to say. It's just sometimes uh, it hurts. Hey, so, J hey, yeah. hey, Jason, I'm with you on who the hell is y'all. But Jason, hold on before I go to you, <laughs> Robert. So you mean tell me go to go 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 to my uh, uh, iPhone? You please. you Roland <clears throat> you. Well, you stop talking, then you ain't gotta have me cuss you out. Um, <laughs> So Robert, you trying to so Robert, you, you don't you not down with formation, countdown, love on top, single ladies, get me bodied, deja vu, ring the alarm, frequent dress, crazy in love, ego, you know, did, 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 did you did you like destiny? Did you like destiny, Shaw? I think the last song that I heard on that list was probably Bootylicious. So, like mm. I said, I'm not her target demographic. I'm not going to be sitting in the, uh, in the car, me and Tyrone and Don driving through Atlanta listening to Beyonce albums. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I, 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 I guarantee you Tyrone and Don down with Beyonce. Right, you are her target it, it, demographic. Right, I mean, I mean, I don't know what you're talking about, you the demographic. J, J, Jason, go ahead. I don't know what the hell has happened to Robert. Go ahead, Jason. So, uh, first thing I got to say for Robert, Robert, first of all, you got to understand that uh, Roland is from Texas, so he's going to be. No, no, no! Wait, up. wait, 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 wait! Hold up, hold up! No, you got to narrow that shit. That. Nope, you got to narrow that shit down. Texas is a big ass <laughs> state. I'm from Houston. 
Okay. Right. But, but I, 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 wait, I, 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 I'm yeah. from Houston. Beyonce's from Houston. But she could be from Charlotte and I'm a steel jam to Beyonce. So that ain't got nothing to do with it. So, okay. but Jason, continue. No, I, I, I hear you. Um, now, I also hear what Robert's saying. Like, I enjoy no, Beyonce. No, 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 Jason, we heard what he said. We think he crazy, but go ahead. Yeah, I, I'm saying I, I enjoy Beyonce's records, but I'm not like riding down the street pumping Beyonce. Like, at least not since Crazy in Love when I heard Jay get on there or something like that. But like, I like, you know, different a different genre of music. And it sounds like if he put Jill Scott up there, that's a completely different genre. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I think like it's more that what's he a, doesn't. What's a genre? No, don't 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 just use genre and you don't mean genre because Jill Scott and an entire set of platinum selling Beyonce records belong in the same genre. Are you saying that Beyonce is not R&B because of her rock? Or are you saying country is not no, R&B, which I'm I can saying, understand? I'm but saying, when you say genre, okay, what, does, explain. What, what does that even mean? Sure, I, I can explain. Uh, when I think of, of Jill Scott, I think of Philly Neo Soul. There was a, mm -hmm. a, a time when people brought out much more jazzy Philly, Philly inspired Neo Soul and that's not Beyonce's much more of a pop artist. You know, she's still R&B, but she makes uh, a different style of music than you would hear from uh, someone like Jill Scott. And so I think there's there's just a, a, a style there, a stylistic difference. It's not that he doesn't like Beyonce or think Beyonce's a good singer. No, Maybe no, he no, does. no, hold on, he stop. Oh, wait, 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 Jason. Don't His ass over. just said he don't like Beyonce. So yeah. you, you, try, like, you try to decipher, like, you trying to sit know. here and decipher. He said, I don't yeah. like Beyonce. I don't yeah, like it. I'm, to be I'm, I'm sure she, she's a wonderful entertainer. I've not followed her that far. But, you know, I, I like, I, I was like, why me by genre? For example, Beyonce, I guess, is a great entertainer. Uh, Jill Scott is a great vocalist. Uh, you know, if you put Beyonce and Erica okay. Badu next to each other, I'm going to take Erica Badu. I will put so Beyonce a, kind of more in that category before, you know, Sheila E or uh, something along those lines, or Paula Abdul. That, I think more the entertainment side of it, and that's just not my, my thing I'm into. Oh, come on, Robert. That wasn't fair. Paula Abdul, bro. Well, I'm just like, people, Monique said people who dance and put on a good show and also sing. So that's kind of my frame of reference for it. But but, but she can sing better than Paula Abdul. You will give her that, We're correct? talking about general comparisons, not a one-to-one -one ranking. I don't follow either of them close enough to uh, to uh, say which one is better between the two. But I just say that's a very different thing that you're listening to than if you're listening to somebody hey, who's Robert, a, a vocalist hey, who can Robert, sing a cappella. Sing, sing something. I got my trombone in the corner. I can go get that. Is that what you want me to do? No, hell no, I don't want you to do that. Hell no, I don't want you to do that. Not a singing scholarship. Tell me that you don't know what vocalist Beyonce is. Tell me that you don't know what vocalist Beyonce is. Tell me that you don't know what vocalist Beyonce is. Tell me that you don't know what vocalist Beyonce is. Tell me that you don't know what vocalist Beyonce is. Tell me that you don't know what vocalist Beyonce is. Tell me that you don't know what vocalist Beyonce is. Tell me that you don't know what vocalist Beyonce is. Tell me that you don't know what vocalist Beyonce is. Tell me that you don't know what vocalist Beyonce is. Tell me that you don't know what vocalist Beyonce is. Tell me that you don't know what vocalist Beyonce is. Tell me that you don't know what vocalist Beyonce is. Tell me that you don't know what vocalist Beyonce is. Tell me that you don't know what vocalist Beyonce is. Tell me that you don't know what vocalist Beyonce is. Tell me that you don't know what vocalist Beyonce is. Tell me that you don't know what vocalist Beyonce is. Tell me that you don't you got to be able to to follow a tune. You you don't have to have perfect pitch. I do, but you don't have to. But what I am saying is that for you to say just in this last album, if you start with with a uh, church girl and you work your way through, you you're gonna go through cozy. You're gonna go through uh, plastic on the sofa. You you going you're gonna go through Virgo's groove. You're gonna make your way all the way to pure and honey. I'm not even talking about break my soul. That's just just, just that's just a breakout hit because all she does is make hits. I'm not talking about that. What I am talking about is the runs. I am talking about the the level of musicality and all of the different ranges and ways that she can utilize her voice. If you go to any of the greats that you just named, because they all are great. I'm not blaspheming Erica or Jill or, or Dionne Warwick or, or, or Diana Ross, but you know who they all say can sing? Robert, you know who they say can sing? Who's, who's that money? Beyonce. And that's great. And no. if you enjoy her, feel free to listen to your Robert, heart's I'm desire. I'm just saying, I'm not going to be one of those people. I'm not, 
Dolly Parton can sing, all right? And I might not like all of her music. Um, uh, L Loretta could sing. I am talking about some people can sing and some people cannot, okay? And, and Beyonce is way higher up the list of people with vocal abilities. And I, I, I personally, though I am a member of the Beehive, I am a Texan, um, Be Beyonce's first name is her mother's maiden last name. That's the Beyonce's of Galveston, Texas, where I am from. So I, I am personally offended, but I want to professionally say, uh, no, you don't have to listen to her, but to say that she's somewhere down that list, like where the non-singers are, and Paula Abdul would even be offended, and she is a great dancer and can hold a tune. But that is not be that's that's not the queen. Now, 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 let me say this here. See, first of all, as <laughs> a, as the resident musicologist on this panel, mm. as the resident mm. musicologist on this panel, uh, mm. and, and Monique, you try that one more time. Mute her damn mic. Um, um, let, let me real clear. You you can listen to multiple genres. You can listen. Uh, to Philly Sound, 70s, in terms of, uh, in, in terms of Gamble and Huff. You can listen to Motown Sound. You can go to Stack Sound. You can listen to Neo Soul. You can go from Jill Scott to Erica Badu to go to Nancy Wilson and go to uh, Natalie Cole and go to Rochelle Farrell uh, and then uh, go a host of singers. But the point is, clearly, Robert, your musical palette is greatly limited. Now I got to look. I, look, Robert, I, the thing. The thing is, look, y'all are Beyonce fans. I'm not. I'm saying if you're gonna put us, we put Prime Whitney Houston at the top of the list. How far down on that ladder do you go before you get to Beyonce? Well, first I of all, well, first, well, 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 I, I, well, first, well, first of all, it depends upon what the exact list is. There are some lists where you talk about who are singers. There are other lists where you talk about who are performers. And so mm -hmm. if you're talking about a singer's list, Aretha at the top, let's just be real clear, the queen no. at the top. Now, no. if you're talking about performers, perform it's, it's different. So the list depends upon what the list is. So the bottom, that's what I just said, that Beyonce's on the entertainer performer list. You know, the so, Sierra, Paul Abdul, Janet Jackson back in the okay, day. Hold on, not, hold on, hold on. Don't you, put you her in the you, you, Aretha Franklin you can't, list. You can't even put Paul Abdul in this conversation. Yo, I mean, yeah. you, you can talk about performer, you can talk about Janet Jackson. Sheila E is a perfect you, example. You, She's a great performer. So do you listen to Sheila I, I look, if she sometimes if it's on in the background, but am I going to buy a Sheila E album and drive around listening to it? No, I'm not. You know what? Here, you know what? You know what? Here's what I think it is. I think what happened is Rob was at the shooting range one day and they had Beyonce on and he didn't hit shit. I think that's what happened. <laughs> I, I think I think he had the shooting range and he didn't hit a damn thing. And so he has had it out against Beyonce for quite some time. I have nothing against the lady. I'm sure she's wonderful. I, I've never she said is anything wonderful. against her. She, she is wonderful. But, I but I, 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 I cannot wait. I cannot wait until the Beehive watched this video. I simply cannot wait. Hey. Y'all, Jason, real quick. Listen, Let I, me just say I'm, I'm about to bounce, so y'all got to be real quick. Go. All right, so I, I hear what Robert's saying because I think of, like, Christina Aguilera is a strong vocalist, but I'm not going to listen to her music. You know what I mean? So You ain't, you ain't never played the Robert, Christina Aguilera song? What's that? What? You, so you don't have her on your your, your, your iPhone? Your, 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 no, I don't. Nor will oh. I ever. But, but I recognize that she's a strong vocalist. She just makes a different kind of music that I don't really rock with. So I think that's what Robert's saying. He's trying to, to you know, be you know, disagreeable. <laughs> But he knows Beyonce is a strong vocalist. He just doesn't like her music that much. I don't think much. he believes I, that. Uh, okay, Monique, final comment, 30 seconds. Yeah, what I want to say is one of the reasons, um, not that it's stopping her because she's, she's at the top for a reason, but one of the difficulties um, in the critical acclaim area for, for Beyonce, for all that she has written, for all that she has performed vocally. And I, I listed Ave Maria and Halo for a reason at the top. And then all of these bops that we love is because people 
watch her dance and perform and don't want to give her credit for all of the vocal ability that goes along with the way that she does that at that level. And the only one that I can compare it to is a Michael Jackson or a Prince. And that doesn't mean, and I don't even agree with rolling with Aretha. I think that, that whoa, 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 hey, 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 hold up, hold, hold, wait, wait, hold up. What's your ass just <laughs> I said, I don't agree because I think that Whitney Houston has no parallel on voice. First That's of all, you first of all, you out your damn mind. First of all, hold on. First of all, first of all, first of all, you out your mind because Whitney had Queen at the top of her list. And she and and of course she would because no. she's a, a dutiful and respectful person. No, that ain't got nothing to do with it. And I and I'm and I'm gonna read the fan, but I'm gonna throw in Adele. I'm gonna throw in Adele. I'm oh, hell no. Oh, oh, hell no. Oh, no, no, hell no. No, right now, right now, straight up, your black card is on the edge right now. Your ass just said really, Adele? Really good Are you out of your mind? You First of all, you hold up. It. First, let's be real clear. Rolling Stone, when they voted, the greatest voice produced in American history. The greatest voice produced in American history. The queen, Aretha when Franklin. When did they do that, Roland? And why what are you talking you about? What the white people said. That, that, first of all, why does it matter no, what the white people there were black folks who voted. But here's the deal, no. though. She called, she's called people. the queen for a reason. Right there. She yo, is. Your ass we just said Adele. Oh, queen. no, no, she's hell no. J Jason, J hey, Jason, I... Jason, I saw you better come out your come through that screen uh, when she. Jason, go ahead, Jason, because I know I'm about to cuss. I, 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 I couldn't believe that Adele. I was almost feeling what Monique was was cooking until she put Adele ahead of ahead of Aretha Franklin. I like, did not Aretha, say that. I did definitely. not say that. I said I am throwing in non-black excellent artists to say we're considering all of them and that I put Beyonce in the I'm factoring everybody in at the top Clyde is Aretha Franklin. Jason, yeah, go ahead. Clyde Davis produced both Aretha Franklin and Whitney Houston said putting Aretha Franklin in her own category then, a, then Whitney Houston is the best singer. Uh, at the time, she was the best singer alive. So I agree. They should have their own categories. I agree with Clyde. No, your ass said above. Don't be trying to wiggle out of it right now. Your ass said above. I ain't forgot what you said. No, that's it. I, I got to. I, I, I got to end the show right now because right now it, it's blasphemous. What you just said, I don't even know what, Lord, what, I don't even, Lord Jesus, get some holy oil and some anointing <laughs> water uh, because she done just lost her damn mind. I mean, I've already had to deal with Robert and his nonsense on Beyonce, <laughs> but your ass just said, quit, oh, hell, 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 hell no. One of them no, the no, uh-uh, no, uh-uh. The First of all, when you the queen, the she the queen, queen and had the voice. Uh-uh, that's it, y'all. No, that's it. I, 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 I don't want to hear nothing. Not, I don't want to hear not no. now nothing. That's it. Uh-uh, please. The judges rule. Sit your ass down. Well, well, the I, 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 that's it's, it. That's, uh-uh, I'm going to hold both y'all in contempt. I'm going to hold both of y'all in contempt. It's going to be a daily fine every day for what y'all... Who help y'all? It's, it's time you to go. You won't break my it's soul. Time. I, I don't even sing. You won't break my don't soul. Don't even sing, y'all. Uh, y'all, no, nah, no. Nah. You go, hold up. You, you ain't going to break no soul, but you're but you going you gonna, to you gonna break some furniture up in here. Because there's some furniture moving up in here. Uh, we got to go, y'all. Download the Black Star Network app. Y'all, please turn her down because she lost her mind. She need Jesus. Y'all, uh, Apple phone, Android phone, Apple TV, Android TV, Roku, Amazon Fire TV, uh, Xbox One, uh, Samsung Smart TV, and of course, join our Bring the Funk fan club. Uh, Lord have mercy. She done lost her mind. Lord, she has just lost her mind. Y'all, uh, see your check-in morning order to P.O. Box 57196, uh, Washington, D.C., 20037-0196. Uh, of course, Cash App is dollar sign RM Unfiltered. PayPal 
is uh, R Martin Unfiltered. Venmo is RM Unfiltered. Zell is rolling at rollingatsmartin.com. Rolling at rollingatsmartinunfiltered.com. I don't know how in the hell she got a show called Make It Make Sense because she damn sure ain't making no sense today with that blasphemy against a, a, the queen. Mm-mm, uh-uh. She didn't lock. You could sing all day. You better go to your Instagram page and sing because, Lord, have mercy. All we, we, all we got you right now is mild of the words. Yo, I got to go. I'm going to see y'all tomorrow right here on Roland Martin Unfiltered where I will always defend the honor of the queen from Motown, uh, my friend, the great Aretha Franklin, the greatest voice America has ever produced. And that ain't coming from Rolling Stone. That's, co- that's coming from Uncle Roro. I'ma see y'all tomorrow. Ho! All right, folks, back to that whole Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. When we invest in ourselves, our glow, our vision, our vibe, we all shine. Together, we are black beyond measure. Folks, Black Star Network is here. A real um, revolutionary right now. Black Power. Support this man, Black Media. He makes sure that our stories are told. I thank you for being the voice of Black America, Roland. I love y'all. All momentum we have now, we have to keep this going. The video looks phenomenal. See, this difference between Black Star Network and Black Owned Media and something like CNN. You can't be Black Owned Media and be scared. It's time to be smart. Bring your eyeballs home. You dig?